Hello everybody, my name is Ardan Anghilavizadeh. Uh, today I want to analyze the environmental factors. Which environmental factors are important in the growing saffron indoors? As you can see here, just today we finished the dormancy phase. Just finished the dormancy phase. And all the sprouts reach to the near two or three centimeters. This is the meaning of the finishing the dormancy. Now all the saffron bulbs are alive. As you can see, all the saffron bulbs reach to the sprout. Okay, now finished. Now in this stage, the rule of the environmental factors are so important. Which environmental factors is imp are important? We have four environmental factors. Uh, temperature, CO2, humidity, light. You know, unfortunately, some of you think light play, thinks light plays important role. Light doesn't play important role, role in the growing saffron indoors. This is the, uh, the biggest mistake in the growing saffron indoors. Some of you spend a lot of money for the light, ask me which variety of the light is needed, uh, which length of the, which gross light, and uh, unfortunately, for example, for the 100 meters pay 1,000, 2,000 euro, 3,000 euro for the light, and think light is very important. If anybody says, say you, uh, says you that is the light is important, without that, this is a big lie. This is the, maybe, this is the agency from the light companies, and uh, they want to give their own products. This is a very big message, this is a propaganda from the light, um, not all light companies, this is the majority light companies that they want to sell their own product. Light is no important in the uh, growing saffron indoors. That you pay a lot of money for it. You can provide a very simple with the, use the simple LED light because you know, during dormancy phase, we don't need any light, completely dark. After the dormancy in this condition, that is you can see, if you have access to the sunlight, you can be creating uh, with the uh, windows, provide access to the sunlight, or uh, with the, some of the light, uh, simple light, okay? Very simple light as you can see behind me, or the projector. You can provide the light during, after the dormancy till flowering. About the light, I want to analyze the first light, you know, you should for the 100 meters maximum pay near the, of course, depending on your country, maximum 500 euro. In Iran, we pay maximum, for example, 200 euro, 300 euro. It doesn't need, you invest all of your money on the light, okay? Light is not so important. This is the, all the step, other factors, one side and the light other side. It doesn't need you worry about the light Okay, therefore we divide the gross period of the saffron three part. One part is the dormancy time from the buying the bulbs till at the end of the summer, you don't need any light, completely dark. After the finishing the dormancy, when the sprout reach to the two centimeters till at the end of flowering, you should provide access to the windows and the variety of the simple light. But, and Amount of the looks is very important. For example, we say we need to near the range of the 1,000 looks in the flowering, for example, three or 4,000 looks in the propagation. In the propagation phase, three months of the winter, that we have the propagation of the saffron bulbs is a little important. But during, after, after the dormancy, during flowering, there is not any leaves, there is not any stems only bulbs sprout and the flower there is not any chloroplast there is not any leaves there is not any green things if you don't have any when there is not any green things green parts it means we don't need to the uh, light especially the gross light only the saffron bulb should understand the difference between day and night the amount of the looks is very important for example in my book completely mentioned day by day, for example, 1,000 looks and uh, uh, 2,000 looks. And uh, for example, for the propagation, we should uh, increase over 4,000 
uh, looks, for example, for the propagation. Therefore, light doesn't play pivotal role, rule, doesn't play important role. And this is the, unfortunately, we have the near the one million farm, we have the four million light companies that they are trying sell their product, only focus light is very important. Therefore, this video I want to uh, show you and indicate light doesn't play important role in the growing saffron indoors. Some things you pay a lot of, this is for example, light for the light, for the shelves. Shelves, only important thing on the shelf is the strength, resistance, and the strength of the shelf is important so that you can keep the bulbs. Other thing, for example, the uh, the shelves that equip with the light, okay, it doesn't need. But if you have the visiting is important, you have the important visitors, you have a light company, you have the shelves company, yes, it is important, you should provide the beautiful shelf. But as you can see, behind me is a very simple light. This is the profile, for example, two by four light for the profile. And also, we keep the blade with the wood and the tray of the wood. But only thing that is important, the strength of the shelves is the very important and you can install on the wall and the, or create a window for the access to the use. In this room, saffron room with the capacity of five kilogram uh, uh, dry saffron each time, we have the one year, two time flowering, 10 kilogram per year. We harvest, we can easily provide the light. Light doesn't play important. But unlike the light, unlike the light, temperature in the environmental factors, very, very important. Temperature plays important. I recommend to the light company, focus on the company. You know, because if I wear you, I'm talking with the companies, you focus on the air handling unit, in the air handling unit that the system, computer control, these are very important. This temperature, if we have the good device, for example, the best air handling unit, we can uh, uh, provide the best temperature because in the, from the purchasing the buy till at the end of the propagation, we experience near 10 times. We have the difference. For example, from purchasing experience 25 centigrade, then we should change to 20, then, 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 10 times we should change the temperature. If we have the good device, if we have the good air handling unit, we can easily uh, harvest the maximum. For example, we can uh, harvest one kilogram dry saffron, one kilogram super negin saffron from 1,000 kilogram saffron bulbs. This, the changing in temperature causes, we have the, the best harvest on our saffron room. Therefore, in the analysis, temperature number one. After the temperature, very important, it is a humidity. Humidity in the saffron room, in the dormancy, we experience 75% humidity, but after the dormancy till at the end of flowering, as you can see, we should water the floor, okay? We keep the relative humidity. It doesn't need you use the humidifier. Unfortunately, some of the farmers think the fog is very important, the fog, the moisture, you can see in the esteem in the room is necessary. Not, it's not necessary. I have the, in the 99% of farm, I have seen that they use the humidifier. Humidifier is absolute. This is for the 20th century using the handle. It doesn't need you use steam machines. It doesn't need you cold steam, warm steam. You should not see any small steam, like the fog, like the humid in the room. Only you should uh, watering the floor. Watering the floor is very important. Air arch is very important. Relative humidity is important. These are important. It doesn't need you give the water directly. We don't give any one drop of the water to the flowering. Only we use the water three months of the propagation. We give, we have the program for the propagation as the bicep. Weekly we should give water. But from uh, from the buying the bulb till at the end of flowering, we don't use, we don't give any one drop of water because if water face with these bulbs, bulbs start to the rooting to the stem and therefore they need to the fertilizer. We don't want to give any fertilizer 
to the bulbs till end of the flowering. After the finishing flowering, we want to give them, uh, we want to give them fertilizer. Therefore, take care. Only you should keep relative humidity. And after that, CO2 important. First temperature, then humidity. Then, why are these loose exhaust? This is depending on the connected to the air handling unit and air handling unit connected to the plastic duct. We can use via this and then with the changing, we can uh, provide that regulate the amount of the CO2 with via this. This is need to calculate, for example, for room, how much, what is the dimension of this ex roof ex house. Sometimes this should be open, sometimes closed. With this, you should reach the, the suitable CO2. I have mentioned for the best CO2 in my book, for the 365 days of a year. For each day I have the uh, mention which CO2 you need. For example, day one you need amount of the CO2, amount of the light, temperature. Therefore, very important. The most important part, temperature, then humidity, then CO2, then light. If you want to pay a lot of money, only focus on the air handling unit and the temperature. Thank you. If you need my book, text me on WhatsApp. 0098935825394 Thank you.